Well, let's go ahead and move on to our second objective for this chapter, and that is we want to be able to write, compile, and run a Java program. Well, the page titled the first Java program is asking us to type a certain program into some sort of a text editor. Well, let's go ahead and show you how to open up an editor, how to type this thing in, where to save it, just kind of the basics of that, and then we'll talk through what the code is all about. A couple quick notes as I uh, move towards uh, creating this file and saving it. Uh, there's a few rules. One is, whatever the package name is that we use, in this case package examples, the file should, should live in that same directory, should live in a directory by the name of in this case, examples. Second, since we have a class called hello, our file name should be hello.java, and it is case sensitive. And so what we'll do is we'll have you, and, and we'll have you do this on your systems as well, but I'll show it to begin with here. Uh, over on our, or in our intro to Java directory, if you did the setup, you saw that that was in our student files. Uh, under ch02, we have an examples directory. So if we put our code under the examples directory, we'd meet the requirement that the file should reside in that directory since it corresponds to the name of the package. Second, we need the file to be named hello.java since the class was named hello. And maybe the quickest thing for me to do would be to do a right click new uh, text document here inside of this directory and say we want to create something called hello.java. And I don't want it called .txt. I want it to be a .java file. Well, when I do that, Windows argues with me and says it doesn't know what a .java file is, and that's okay, I'll just say yes. Uh, but the problem here is if I were to try to open this, it wouldn't necessarily know what to open it in. It doesn't know uh, what, what program to edit a .java file in. Well, a way around this is that um, I could just open up a tool like maybe like Notepad and load this file into Notepad. So on my keyboard, I'm going to hit the Windows key and the R, R is in Roger, and that'll be, bring up the Run box, and I'll just type in the word Notepad, and that'll open up the Notepad window. Alternatively, you could go to your uh, Start, Programs, Accessories, and find Notepad there too. And I want to load hello.java, so I'm just going to do a File Open, and uh, under uh, Intro to Java, Chapter 2, Examples, I'm going to want to open hello.java, but it's not showing it there. It doesn't even show the other file that's already in existence in that directory, hello world.java. Well, Notepad wants to find .txt files. I can just change this drop down and choose all files instead and uh, choose hello.java. That's the file I want to edit. When I click open, there's nothing in there because it's a brand new file. So this is where we would type in package examples semicolon public class hello open curly brace. Now I just close my curly brace after I've opened it. Public static void main in parentheses string square bracket square bracket args close paren open curly brace etc. And inside of here I like to, to indent and you could use a tab if you want to. I use four spaces. That's just my habit. And uh, Indentation isn't a requirement in Java, but it sure is recommended to be able to kind of see the structure of your, of your document. And so what I'd like to have you do is, uh, on your system, is do what I just did, which is create a file called hello.java under your Chapter 2 Examples directory and type in the content that's in, uh, in the workbook here.